Hi there, I'm John Norman, and recently I went to KCON, and it was a great time. I want to tell you all about it. Let's start from the beginning. On the first day, we went to the airport. And here I am, I'm talking in the airport, vlogging, but who really cares what I'm saying? It was nothing important, I'm sure. Here's Mackenzie and Jackie Sue on the airplane, and we flew Virgin because it was the cheapest one. Look at all the pretty lights. They even had these little TVs on the back where you could listen to Ariana Grande, so you know I jammed out. There was really amazing selfie lighting on the plane. God bless it. Ugh. And here we are when we got to the LAX airport. Yay. Oh, Mackenzie's licking Jackie's hand. How sweet. Let's just assume she was helping her put on a temporary tattoo or something. The place we stayed at, we found on Airbnb, so of course the first thing that I have to do when I get there is take a selfie in the room, which was completely empty and had lots of ants, but whatever. And um, the guy who was the roommate of the person who had the Airbnb listing, this is him, he came and picked us up at the airport, then he quickly left and got drunk and came back and fell asleep in our bedroom. <laughs> and that was day one, just traveling and then sleeping and getting ready for the next day. Now here comes day two of our vacation and day one of cake on. Here we are on the way to KCON. When we got there, the first person that saw us was uh, someone who follows me on Twitter. His name is also John Norman. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So he's like screaming, John Norman, John Norman! And I knew who it was. I ran over there, we took a picture, it was perfect. Then the second person that we saw was Miles J. We were such dorks about it. Like, these two teenage girls ran up to him and were like, Miles J, let me get a picture! And then as soon as they walked away, we were like, oh, oh, us too, us too. And then he was like, um, oh, well, have fun at KCON because we were just such spazzes and oh, it was embarrassing. We also saw Courtney from Courtney and Jasmine, like two men, jink jong, sugar, boop, boop, boop. But she, um, like, I didn't get a p selfie with her because I was just like trying to like get, figure out what to do there and yeah. But um, that, that'll come later, yes. And, but she was oh, so nice, so helpful. Yes, thank you, Courtney. And then uh, this is Jelly Bean Nose. Uh, she does dance covers on YouTube and uh, she's doing a dance to Kiana by Red. And, or no, <laughs> Red by Kiana. And um, it was funny because we actually ended up sitting next to her at the concert and I really wanted to get a picture with her, but they like left early so it didn't happen. Then I met Daniel and a Patrick, yes! Oh my gosh, I really wanted to meet them because I watch their videos all the time and I love them and uh, I don't know, I felt like they might have been a little overwhelmed because I was just like so like, uh, you know, out there but <laughs> yay, I got to meet them, um, yay, and they were cool. Um, yeah, I was excited and stuff and yeah. Um, cats? Then Shane's K-pop videos tweeted that he was gonna have a panel soon, so I went to the panel, and um, there's him talking, yes, hello. I didn't get to meet him either, but I wish I would have, and um, I think actually Jackie Sue did an interview with him, I'm not sure, um, I haven't seen the footage yet and I wasn't there, but hi Shane. And then, oh, here's finally, yes, here's my selfie with Courtney, yes. I was really awkward about this picture too because there was a lot of people that were stopping her to take pictures because, you know, she's like famous and stuff. And I, I was like, oh, do I walk up to her now or later or what? Because I really want a selfie. So I just did it and she was like, oh, hey, yeah, of course. She's, oh, she's just so nice. Oh. Finally, here's the concert. Look at all the cool lights that everyone had. And you know, like there's, they filmed it. It's professionally filmed and other people have like fan cams and stuff. And the first night we were like way, we were like three rows from the very top. So I'm just gonna show you like, oh, oh, that's my text tone. I'm just gonna show you just a couple clips, like my favorites. My favorite was of all the performances from both nights. Teen Top, I wish they, uh, I love their songs. I really wish they would have sang um, No More Perfume On You, but still, they were my favorite out of anyone. This is not Teen Top that I'm showing, but whatever. Um, and yeah, uh, G-Dragon was uh, kind of a douchebag, but like that's kind of his thing, so whatever. He just came out and all the other people were like super cordial, like, hello, thank you for coming to see us. But he's like, hi, it's me. You know who I am. <laughs> Sorry, that's... That's my G-Dragon impression. It's it's just a half step away from Lil Wayne. When we were leaving, another person that I talked to on Twitter named Cameron stopped and wanted to take a picture. And of course, because you know, like we talked to each other on Twitter. And so he tried to take a picture and uh, the camera would not work. And <laughs> it was, so I, I said, oh, I'll take the picture for you and tweeted at you. But yeah, here's that picture. Hi, Cameron. And that concludes day one of KCON. God, I was exhausted at the end of the day, but oh, it was fun, fun, but fun. fun.
Next was day two of KCON. Boy, this was magical. This was the day of the K-pop reactioner panel at 11.30 and I was getting so nervous because the girls were taking a while to get ready. And I was like, oh, we gotta be there. And so I thought we weren't gonna make it, but we got there at the event at like 11.38. I ran over and left Mackenzie and Jackie behind to go be at the panel. And here I am, selfie with the panel. And here's Patrick talking. Oh, I was so happy to be there um, because like I love all their videos and so I just I wanted to see them and I'm glad I got to do it and yes Courtney I forgive you for what you said about Britney Spears about K-pop versus American pop being like old Britney versus new Britney and speaking of Britney Spears here's somebody who's wearing a bald Britney mask uh, I don't know why um, he was with a group of girls and they were all wearing like boy band heads and he was wearing this so I was like hey oh my god I'm a big Britney fan please can we take a picture together and we did Think me. While we were there, me and Mackenzie were helping our friend Jackie Sue, who has this uh, company called Demographics, where she puts on a K-pop night every month in Austin, so it's a fun like club event. And we were just like helping her do this panel about building a K-pop community. Me and Mackenzie took selfies. Yes, lay um us. And we got to go into like this um like green room for anyone who was kind of like working or had a panel there at KCON, and oh, they treated us so well. Like they had food in the panel and everything. Um, and oh, it was so, so nice. Oh, and this is Mackenzie in there. Uh, Jeremy Thurber, he does all the like singing in the Chad Future songs. He was in there. And so Mackenzie took a picture with him. Yes, uh, he's such a diva superstar. Then I headed over to the LGBT panel where I met Soundly Awake and of course I had to get another picture with Miles J. And here's this amazing dance troupe. Daniel J was in it, hi. And also, oh, that silver haired guy, he was so good. Daniel J, if you see this, if you know him, tell him he is so good. He was so good, silver haired guy. And then I met Dylan, yay, channel of Dylan, woohoo, yay. And I want this DJ at my next birthday party. Yes, DJ and crayon pop, correct. And then here's a couple clips from the concert from that night. Ooh, see in blue, yes. Kids of me now. And then Girls' Generation, yes. You know, I felt like they could have sang, like I really wanted to hear I Got a Boy and The Boys. They did not sing that, but uh, overall it was a really good show anyway. I, uh, good, uh, yes, it was so cool. Like our seats were closer on the second night. So cool to see all, uh, like, all these different K-pop acts come together in one place. So good, yes, uh, KCON, you are life-changing. But I was so sad that this was like the last day. Like I didn't even realize it till we got to the concert that like, oh, KCON is over. Oops, <laughs> yeah. This was the last day of our vacation. It was the day after KCON and we were unsure of what we were gonna do. So naturally we had to go to Venice Beach and we had a little photo shoot before we were waiting for our, uh, you know, Lyft, Uber situation to get there. And, you know, fabulous pictures, here we go. Here's a selfie in our Uber ride, and here's a picture of Venice Beach. Here is um, me trying to do the touch my body air dance and not doing a very good job. Mackenzie took some cute pictures, and then I tried to take a cute picture and of me running on the beach. Yeah. Oh, Johnny. Oh. But when I posted this picture on Twitter, then Ariana from K-Pop Derps was like, hey, I'm at Venice Beach too. So then I walked over and I met K-Pop Derps. Hello. Oh, it was, they were delightful. I wanted to hang out with them more, but they were leaving to go do the, um, like, uh, Reactioner hangout over in K-Town. And so we went over there too after we ate fish and chips. We went to K-Town. And the first thing that happened when we got there was one of the workers inside one of the stores kept following Mackenzie around everywhere. So she pouted and stood outside of the store and he followed her too. Boy, how fun. Here he is, look at how cheeky he looks. Ugh. Then I met up with the other YouTubers, but by the time I got there, K-pop derps had already left and so did everyone else. It was just a few of the YouTubers left. But I got to meet Dre, and he had seen my videos. I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, he was a cool guy. Hey, Dre, if you watch this. And then we all, um, Dre left after that. <laughs> and then we, the rest that were remaining, went over to the face shop and, uh, you know, took some pictures together. And then after that, we went to, uh, Daiso Japan and got some stuff. Everything was $1.50. It was so amazing. Then we took a picture outside of that place. And then everyone else left except for Courtney and Jasmine. 
We went to Cafe Bonnet, if that's how you say it. Mackenzie got a $7 waffle, and they also had $50 parfaits, which I skipped on. I took a picture in the mirror. I thought I looked like Bert from Bert and Ernie. Oh, we went to Iota Cafe. I ate a really bad salad that I didn't like at all. They wouldn't take it back. Then as I was eating that salad, I found out Robin Williams died. <laughs> and I was already upset about the salad. So you can understand how much sadness I was in. Then the next day, we flew back home. Mackenzie's airport fashion was spot on that day, but then it was like wasted because she was stuck in between these two and had to pretend to like be their baby the whole flight. KCON was a magical experience. LA was a magical experience. I will miss it. With each passing day, I get sadder that it is further and further in the past. But that just means it is one day closer to KCON 2015, which will surely be even bigger and better than last year. Anyway, that was my KCON wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, here's the cheesy stuff. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more K-pop related stuff. And until next time, Fare thee well. I want this picture of G Dragon because he has a cockatiel on his shoulder, and there's no reason why he does, and he looks I love it.